Hello, Flickering Myth family, and welcome to our channel. My name is EJ Marino, and we have a new movie review. In this video, we are diving into the A24 slasher movie called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Whoa. Boy, what a twisted web we weave. When we are partying with a group of friends playing a game that really reminds me of Among Us, we get into some serious drama. That is what Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is filled with. Drama, crazy heartbreak, a lot of drugs, and some good old old-fashioned slasher kills. Actually, let me not even call this a slasher. This reminds me of like a Gen Z giallo film. You know those like classic 1970s Dario Argento films like The Crystal Plumage and Deep Red and Tenabre? All of those films, they kind of bring me back to this. Or this brings me back to those kind of films. It's really fun to see a murder mystery, a slashing good time that feels like those movies with the annoying characters. Because boy, does this movie have unlikable characters doing unlikable things. That was a staple in the Giallo films. It has a very vibrant color palette. It also has enough mystery in it to keep me through the whole movie. By the time I got to the end, which I don't love, we'll talk about that in a moment, but by the time we got to the end, I was just like, I have been into this ride the whole time. I'm genuinely impressed you kept me going. Do I wish this movie was able to stick the landing a bit better? That is what upset me because I was into it for like the f like first hour and 20 minutes. Once we got to that last 10 minutes, I went, I don't know if they're going to wrap this up the way it should be wrapped up. And then, of course, it just kind of abruptly ends. And some people are going to love the ending. Some people are going to absolutely hate it. I kind of fall into the middle where I got the artistic decision to kind of leave off on a note like this. I just wanted a bit more of a satisfying ending. But overall, very impressed with what this had to offer as that giallo throwback, as that fun kind of parody of this generation we'll talk about like making fun of it and how this perfectly captures a good satire and what i would like from my kind of comedy horror films so yeah there's a lot in this that did work again did i think that ending needed to be a bit better of course but what was here i have to say i'm pretty impressed with what really makes this stick out for me is that almost pitch perfect satire. It's hard to find a movie like this that's making fun of this age group that really gets it. I find, I often say this in my reviews, that people have not figured out how to make fun of millennials and Gen Z just yet, but Bodies, Bodies, Bodies may be on that path. Maybe it's because the authentic, very young cast really brought their own elements into it. Maybe the writers or directors knew exactly what they needed to do, but I was really impressed with how this comedy worked, with how it just flowed, and I was able to kind of laugh at everyone equally. I got everyone's characters, and I understood what they were trying to say. It's hard because, again, this type of comedy can always feel a bit cringe and that's supposed to be like maybe you're not supposed to like every one of these characters maybe they are talking about like woke cancer culture toxic stuff and you may not like that type of verbiage but you're not really supposed to like all of these characters i think a lot of people are going to say this movie is making fun of a group and i don't think the group's going to really get that they're getting made fun of which is the best type of satire i love the fast-paced dialogue it's really quippy it keeps you going it keeps you engaged i really had to listen to what people were saying because it dropped little nuggets, little Easter eggs for things later on, and it paid off. I was really satisfied with how the dialogue felt. It went really natural, was really, really funny, really needed to be the type of satire and kind of comedy it was. It was also really punching up and not punching down. So in comedy, when you punch down at somebody, it's a group that you're above. It's like when you are an able-bodied person and you're just sitting there making fun of disabled people. It's just like, Bro, like, what, what, do you, what is this? What kind of comedy? I think a lot of people prefer comedy when it's punching up. Like, make fun of the people who are above you. The If you're a nerd, make fun of the dumb jock people, that, like, in a real basic way. Or if you're poor, make fun of rich people. If you're a minority, make fun of that status quo. I prefer that punching up type of humor. And this movie does mix it pretty well. It feels like it's mocking the Gen Z, the millennial type of characters. But it's not doing it in a malicious way. It's just being like... This is how these people speak. This is how some of the more extreme examples of people are. And yeah, it can get a bit crazy. And you can see how sometimes these personalities can lead to crazier drama. And I thought that was just exactly what this movie needed to do. Again, oftentimes I was pretty impressed with it. Though there is one element of this that did let me down a 
bit. Now, for a horror film, like truly, if you see the trailers that play in front of this movie, you're just going to be like, wow, this movie is going to be a downright terrifying experience. The movie is not exactly that. For a slasher movie, though it's kind of hard, I try to label this more of a giallo murder mystery than a straight up slasher movie, I was expecting a bit more. You can call me a, a gore hound, one of those sick people who like seeing gore and violence, but I'm like... Yeah, I need a little bit more violence in this movie. There was two very effective kills that I did think really sucked me back in. There was one that really kind of caught me off surprise, and it was a very good moment where the movie turned down one lane. And then there was a kill closer to the end, a very dramatic kill, a very needed kill for the plot, but it, it, it hit me hard. I was more affected by it because I really felt that character. It's going back down to that comedy, the script, that really like solid writing of these people, making fun of them, but also giving them enough for I can bite into, that I can sink into, so it made it worth it. I just, again, wanted a bit more of killing. It had a perfect body count for it. It had the perfect setting. Everything's there to make this a bit more of a horror film than a comedy film, but it still does feel like it's a comedy above a horror, and that's just a personal preference thing. I like horror comedies. Think of something like Shaun of the Dead or Scream. Those are perfect examples. This falls into, not, I wouldn't say, scary movie level of parody of trying to make fun of the genre in that way but it isn't as straight up horror as I would like it's a bit more of a comedy think of a happy death day one of those kind of movies maybe not exactly like that but you guys get the element where they're trying to put one genre above the other and sadly comedy takes over the the, the horror just a bit more than I wanted all right everyone that is it for my review of the new a24 movie bodies 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 there's elements I really like about it it feels like that Gen Z giallo film we see some twisted webs being weaved by these dramatic millennial characters that are almost perfectly made fun of there's a lot here that works well and I did enjoy it again did I want the slashing element to be a bit more slashing did I want more gore of course I did because that's just who I am but honestly this is well worth the watch now what did you think of this review what do you think of this movie share your feelings down in the comments below give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy and make sure you subscribe to flickering myth because we make videos like this every single week all right let's talk about bodies 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 giallo films slasher movies down below